Hey everybody, long time no see and I'm relieved to finally upload a video again. And this time it's my 2022 bullet journal flip through, which I know is quite late, but better late than never. Since it's been a while, there's quite some stuff I would like to talk about. But first things first, 2022 was a year I didn't really keep up with bullet journaling very well. I felt very uninspired oftentimes and I didn't really use it consistently. So there are very many spreads I forgot about or just didn't use at all. I also covered some stuff I don't feel very comfortable sharing like my two lines a day and personal information, but also last names and addresses. I hope that doesn't bother you too much. I know most of my viewers are kind people, but you never know who watches your videos. For those of you who didn't know yet, my partner Mani and I moved to a new place and most of our rooms are far from done yet. So this filming setup is temporary and I'm sorry if the sound is reverberating because I'm sitting in a very empty room, which is also facing the main street unfortunately. I'll get my own little art space here in the future, but due to everything we have to do, it will take some more time. So one huge topic, well at least for me, I want to talk about in this video is my strange relationship to bullet journaling. It's probably not a big surprise since I've been complaining about this a lot lately, but I lost the excitement about bullet journaling almost completely. It is still a functional tool and I still want it to be pretty. But I don't want to worry so much about having original and creative themes anymore. I feel like I've seen and done so many themes at this point to worry about being original anymore. And also I don't want bullet journaling to be the only thing that defines who I am on the internet, if that makes sense. I actually never wanted to be that bullet journal person. I actually wanted to create an art account when I first posted on Instagram. But I also wanted to post about my bullet journal so it accidentally became a Bujo account. So what do I actually want to do? I'm not completely sure about that yet but I want to only post Bujo content when I'm feeling inspired to do so and I don't want to put myself under so much pressure anymore. And what I want to do instead is mainly sketchbook and art content. I feel like sketchbook spreads give me a freedom that Bujo spreads don't and I know there are people who disagree and that's fine. I used to think that the amount of different designs and layouts is limitless too. But after almost five years, I believe, of bullet journaling, I have made the experience that I don't change layouts that work for me anymore. And even if I try to change them, I didn't really enjoy the process of figuring out new layouts either. And I'm sorry, but I'm also kind of sick of sticking to a theme. Sometimes I want to study a subject, maybe successfully, maybe I'd mess it up and just move on, instead of having to look at something for a whole month. And I don't want to attack anyone with my opinion. And 
Even if it doesn't sound like it, I'm still a fan of bullet journaling. It's just that being a bullet journal only content creator isn't it for me anymore. I do have many new video ideas I'm excited to try out and I'd be very happy if you join my art journey. I'm looking forward to a very exciting and different year. Okay, so another thing I wanted to talk about is how grateful I am for your support. Every single view on my videos, every purchase made through my affiliate links and codes and every pledge on my Patreon page counts and helped me so much, especially the last few months. To be completely honest, Money paid for most of the furniture, rent and organizational stuff, but just because of you I could at least make a contribution and that means the world to me. Thank you so much. And speaking of Patreon, if you like any of the themes you see in this video, you can still get all of the matching printables. A lot of them are dated and I'm not gonna update them because that wouldn't be fair to my long-term patrons, but the sticker sheets and digital goodies as well as the cover pages are pretty much timeless. I will probably take the old stuff down at some point, but for now they are still available. So if you're interested, consider joining my Patreon. You can find the link in the description box. There will probably be changes to my Patreon too, but this is not planned out yet and as long as you pay for printables, you will get printables. And I usually ask my patrons for theme ideas even when I'm not doing a theme for my own bujo. No pressure though, I'm grateful anyway and I'm always grateful for any kind of support I get. I just felt like with the move and everything going on and also with my long break from social media, it was about time to tell you that I didn't forget you guys. And I think that's enough of the serious topics for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well as things you'd like to change for yourself in the year 2023. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the flip through. Some of my favorite themes of the year took place in the second half. Of course, I hope you enjoyed the video so far as well. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and also for listening and have a wonderful rest of your day.